All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion episode eight. In the last episode, we met this. Well, we kind of interacted with two factions. It would seem one faction is like a group of people that are against like tech and the evolution of the world and society. I suppose um, they were kind of paid by them to go into the other factions, like lower basement of the building, I guess. So this is the Immortal Order to take out um, one of the Man-Eaters. man -eater ended up showing some funky hallucinations and shit. Had us scared for our lives. Had Kiriko scared for her life. Um, and then after killing it, we met with a Dr. Usami, I believe. Who apparently wants them to kill someone else because he's now seen their skills. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Learning more about this Immortal Order. Hopefully more... We'll get closer to finding out the doctor that we're looking for after this. So the story progresses more. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's get into this episode right now. Oh, yeah, they're also protesting uh, human experiments, which is fair. Yeah, just going to chuck the rock back. Oh. Oh, she fell. Oh, my God. Congratulations, you have brain damage. Oh, this one's a smart one. He knows some shit's going down. Oh, he's missing an arm. Brother, is she okay? Is she fucking dead? Okay, so they definitely didn't actually set them up then. Cool. What?! She actually died from that? I mean, of course, obviously you can die from a fucking brain injury, but... No fucking way she actually dead. Is she? Or is he just trying to rile everybody up? Oh, now it's no longer a peaceful protest. Okay. Lots of these people are amputees. Just needs a bit of oiling, bro. But it turns out this place is actually nicer, like the nicer faction. Who is you? Or is this someone with the like the, the rash disease thing? Oh my god. Did he do that or like did a monster do that? The eyes. Kinda looks like on on his from uh Vinland saga. Just just the eyes though. Just instantly reminded me of that. Former humans who died from a disease. So that thing inside that little kid's chest was an egg? Makes sense. Just like zombies. Well, that's what The Walking Dead told me anyway. So is that what happens to the woman then? Like the one that apparently died from head trauma here. Uh, she, was, she had the disease, so that's why it got chopped off. Wait, is that going to be a plot point then? Now that the woman who smacked her head died, if she is actually dead, is she going to turn into a man-eater? Oh, he can see it. I wonder if he's actually going to be able to kill her. But does he want to? What do you want, ma'am? Do you want to die? I want to see... The sky. Oh. Will she die instantly? Take the machines outside. I don't know. Put it on wheels. It's a fair compromise. Dying wish. Damn, she is tiny. Oh. <laughs> Seems like he actually cares about her. Oh god, here we fucking go. They better not ruin this like last moment for the for the lady. Wait, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? Isn't he one of your guys? I'm sorry, isn't he what he's one of your guys? What the fuck? 
Okay, these guys are not the good guys. Okay, yeah, these guys... These guys are the good guys. Oh, this is sweet. She's dying. Is it going to be the first time Maru kills a human? Oh man, I don't even know this person for like longer than two minutes. This is making me sad. Damn, bro. Here's what we're going to find out. This, this, like, this is wife or child or something. Oh, this sucks. Oh, poor Maru as well. Oh, did she leave a message at the end? <laughs> what are you turning slightly to look at? You got an eye patch on. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, god damn it. Thank you for giving me your eye. Oh, shit. Oh. God damn it. Damn, bro. <laughs> Knew this person for a whole five minutes. Holy shit, man. So the, the blue eye we could see there then was his eye. Damn. Oh, that person's name's Hoshio. These are really good people, man. This sucks. Damn, that sucks. You got roped into the... by a, the bad group. Ah, okay. And the people are still here, so they can make a new home. He's not a doctor? Is he just saying that, or...? Great! Now this fucking awful group are in power. Oh, there's another egg. Yeah, fuck these people up. Dr. Inazaki. Oh. Yeah, they actually know him. So he's actually alive. He didn't come, up, uh, come across as someone with surgical knowledge when we knew him. Or when she knew him. Well, that helps. We got some helpful information here. Where's he... Burying her. It's a crow. Wait, is there a like a is that like a the the logo they've been looking for the pheasant or whatever? No, he's not going to shoot himself. Don't. Come on, please don't. Oh, this is making me tense, man. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, that's fucking tragic. Oh, come on, that was his choice. It's not your fault, Maru. And he saved this woman's life, too. She got to die how she wanted to. Yeah, it is the same logo thing, isn't it? Are they in the basement? Good luck. It's lucky they got out there when they did then. Because this money is about to fuck everybody up. Oh, we're back with the other squad. I feel like the darkness creeping in on her. What the fuck? Someone else here? Is it the dude? Who's this? Is it like the bowl cook guy? Oh, that was a dream. Okay. Okay. 
Right, so that was Heavenly Delusion, episode 8. Really freaking sad episode, man. Um, it would seem like, presumably the person um, who obviously was on death's door right there, the lady, um, she was probably his wife or girlfriend, something like that. Um, it was really sad, really, really sad episode. Tragic, but it's nice that Mara was there to give her the death that she deserved. She went out a human, she went out with dignity. She got her final wish and she got to leave even final words for the one she loved. Oh, I'm, t <laughs> I'm choking up again thinking about it. Um, it's really sad with the thing with Dr. Usami as well. But again, that was his choice. That's why that's what the episode is called. And um, yeah, overall, just a really freaking good episode. Oh, God, I don't know which side of the story I prefer more. Probably Maru and Kiriko's side compared to like uh, Tokyo's. Start of it, but yeah, we're a little bit closer with the mystery now. They've met uh, the 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 group knew about Robin, presumably. They they all recognised his handsome face, so yeah, that's good to know that he's at least alive. We're one step closer here, um, and then yeah, overall a, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.